Selling Skills Week 4 Part 4. 3. Discuss with your new associate the process of profiling a customer to learn needs and wants. The profiling part of the selling process, often called probing, is the stage during which the sales associate determines, as accurately as possible, the precise nature of the customer's needs and interests. Explain that profiling is done most effectively by asking open-ended questions using words like who, what, where, when and how, and open-ended statements that most often begin with the phrase, tell me about. It is important to demonstrate authentic interest in the customer's needs. Explain why yes and no questions should be avoided. Questions and statements that ask for descriptions of a person, event, scenario, etc., will help uncover the customer's motivation and clarify their thinking. Explain the motivation of the female purchaser. Personal reward. Special occasion. Punish the husband. Status. Fashion. How to appeal to the sense of style as well as fashion. As a treat. Impulse. Explain how to motivate repair customers, customers who had no intention of shopping for jewelry, to look at and consider buying an item. Explain how to motivate browsers who say they're just looking. Let me show you something worth looking at. Let me give you a brief tour of our store. Explain how effective profiling will paint a picture of the customer's needs and interests by drawing out conversation, not by simply rapid-firing questions. Explain that customers often assume a defensive posture when they feel as though they're being subjected to the third degree. Explain that the objective of profiling is to get the customer to talk, so the salesperson can listen and gather information that will ultimately serve to guide the process. Explain why listening carefully is extremely important to narrow the focus of jewelry that will be presented and to make effective use of both the buyer and seller's time. It also enables the seller to be better prepared to handle the objections that are typical in the sales process. Explain how to ask the customer if you may take notes. Explain how and why information is entered on the client worksheet. Explain why jewelry presentation should not begin until the sales associate has established and confirmed a clear idea of the customer's needs.